just when you think the weekend can't get any better and more exciting for West Ham fans, then you know, it, it, you're wrong because it is going to get very better, a lot better. Because Mohamed Kudus um, set to sign for West Ham now. Medical has been reported is all done, all completed, um, and basically just putting now the final touches to the, the the sign of the paperwork and doing the media stuff. So it's set to be announced very very soon. I mean, this is a an incredible incredible signing for West Ham. Let's, let's make no mistake about it. Um, before we go into this though, I do want to say um, just a reminder that we are giving away a free uh, West Ham top, home away fur kit, whatever you fancy, uh, every month for the whole season. All you need to do is just uh, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment on our um, kit giveaway video. Now, we're going to be giving away the next one uh, this week. So if you go back, you'll find it. And just all you got to do is add a comment to it and say, oh, you need to, and you need to be a subscriber to the channel. It's free to enter. And we've already done one already. And we're about to do the second. So do remember to enter um, and subscribe to the channel. And also bear in mind, a lot of the people that watch this, actually, we get so many, a lot of, I think it's like 50% of our viewers come in and watch it and watch loads of videos, but aren't subscribers. So just do it because you enter the competition. So why not? Um, yeah, Mohamed Kuda. So I'm, oh, I mean, wow, what a signing this is for West Ham. This is a really good time to be a West Ham fan, considering the fact we've just come off the back of a summer that was so, I mean, let's be honest, hairy to begin with. And we had so many things to be worried about, be, you know, be it that we sold our captain, that we've backroom issues around the coaches leaving, we lost a striker, we've lost all these situations going on. Lucas Paqueta was off, and there's batting allegations. I mean, it's been a crazy summer. But all of a sudden, you know, we've, we've started the season so, so well. We sit top of the league and now we're about to bring in a player that, make no mistake, is a you know an exceptionally talented player coming to West Ham. It's just, it's so, so exciting. And there's more to come as well. More to come. Uh, XWH employers said there is a couple more likely to come. So are going to be confirmed. So it's very, very exciting. So a little bit about Kudus then. Um, before we talk about where we are with it. So he's 23 years old. He's a winger, attacking midfielder, and also he can play as forward. He has been in blistering form for a while now uh, for club and country. Um, looks a very, very good player. So I'm looking here. He's played 24 games uh, for Ghana. He's, always, he's scored seven goals, all quite recent, actually, uh, over his time there, playing for his nation. Ajax, though, 18 goals last season. 18 goals for a player that plays predominantly on the wing and, in, in, as I say, attacking midfielder. That is pretty amazing, really. Um, he's, he's, you know, he's, as I say, very, very talented player. And even this season alone, he's already scored four uh, goals for them. Um, obviously, bearing in mind, three of them were on you know, the other night. But, yeah, still, who cares? They still count. So I'm not moaning about that. We'll get back to the video in just a second. But I just wanted to let you know, this video is actually sponsored by Circle and specifically their game, Five Match Millions. I'm going to be honest with you, okay, that we're very picky about who we work with on the channel and um, for the West Ham way we are. And um, when they approached us to do um, to sponsor um, the channel, we said, well, okay, but I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll, we'll um, basically use your app for a couple of weeks just to make sure that we're happy with it. I've got to say, it's really good and very addictive, I warn you. Basically, the way it works is they pick um, five games for the weekend, Premier League football games, okay? And each game, you pick a number. You can do it either randomly, or you do a lucky dip, or you pick the numbers that you want. And the way it works is, is that it's numbers from 1 to 27, and the, basically the die will spin in, depending on what happens in the game. So if there's a throw-in, it moves two places to the left. If there's a yellow card, it goes four to the right. And basically, wherever it ends at the end of the game, it will land on a number, and if you get that number, then you win. So basically, you can win up to a million pounds if you get all five, okay? Um, and the first place, so if you match one, you get your money back plus a, a couple of quid extra, blah, 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 blah. And basically, I think even if you match three numbers, you get 75 quid. So it's, it's very, very good. Um, and yeah, and basically all it is is two pound a week to play. Now, if you click on the link below and type in West Ham Way, next weekend's games, you get absolutely free and get to give it a go. So why not just give it a go? Got nothing to lose. I've got to say, it's really, really good. And as I say, I've won already twice. It might be beginner's luck. It might well be beginner's luck, but I'm definitely going to carry on playing. But uh, yeah, so click the link below, West Ham Way. Good luck. I mean, it already tells you enough about the player himself when you look at the teams that have been linked heavily with this player, wanting to bring him in. So Chelsea, um, apparently this summer, have been very keen to bring him in. Arsenal were showing big interest in getting him in. Obviously, they've spent quite a fair bit of money now. Um, I don't know whether how they were, if they were able to afford the player. Um, and obviously, Newcastle, it's coming very late for him as well, that wants to bring him in. I mean, as I say, that, that just shows you straight away the kind of player that we're, we're dealing with. This is not someone that's not highly rated. I mean... I think it actually reminds me a little bit of the Lucas Paqueta uh, last season, you know, when we brought him in. And I think a lot of other clubs were going, really? Is he going to West Ham? Paqueta? Like, it, it, these are Champions League players. You know, these are players that can really go to the top, top clubs. And 
full credit to Tim Stiton. I mean, why? And actually, no, I'm, I'm not going to say that. That's not fair. I, I am giving credit to Tim Stiton, of course, but I feel like Tim gets a lot of the headlines. But I think a lot of credit needs to go to Mark Noble uh, and the manager as well. But Mark Noble was the one that apparently highlighted uh, Kudus, um, first of all, uh, to David Moyes. And because we've got this committee now, there has to be um, a few nods to say yes, to go for it. So Mark Noble obviously got the first big nod because he was the one that put him to the table. This is before Tim Stiton arrived as well at the club. I'd said that, you know, he wanted West Ham to make a move for him. Uh, and then David Moyes in turn then went, yeah, I like the look of this player. Yeah, fair enough. So that's two big ticks, of course. And then Tim Stiton came in and was absolutely in agreement. So he's obviously got the move, move through. What I really like about Stiton as well, I love this whole, I know it sounds a bit cheesy, the whole private jet thing. I do like the pictures, of course, because that's just brilliant. But I like the fact he's getting it done. This kind of like can do. This is going to show some muscle. It's what we've always said, isn't it? Like we've been saying over the summer, why aren't we showing some ambition? Why aren't we going out there and getting these deals done? Like I was saying about um, Carlos Borges. Do you remember when, when, he, when the deal fell through and he went to Ajax? <laughs> that worked out well, didn't it? Um, he went to Ajax and effectively they hijacked our move for the, for the winger in uh, Man City. Um, but I was saying at the time, why didn't we go out there? Why aren't we, you know, we were playing abroad. We could have just gone there and got the deal done. It's almost like, you know, we're sort of learning from our mistakes now. We're realising we've got to be more proactive. And Tim Stiton's just got that attitude, isn't he? Because he's just, you know, he flew out to Bulgaria where Ajax were playing to make sure he get the deals completed and sorted out. So, and bringing him back. So, yeah, medical completed anyway. Um, uh, and, and bearing in mind as well, I'll talk about the teams that were linked with um, uh, Kudus. It's also the fact that uh, Saudi Arabia uh, clubs, significant interest as well. And apparently it's actually caused us to have quite a few concerns because the money they were offering was outrageous. I mean, I, I did read, I mean, I don't know how true this is, but it's almost 750 grand a week uh, for the player uh, to go out there. Now, the fact he's chosen West Ham, that's what I really like about this more than anything. It's not only is it a brilliant signing, but the, the, the noises we're hearing are that the Kudus really wants to come to West Ham. Dreams of playing the Premier League. Yes, it could be a step in zone for his career. I mean, but, you know, we can't turn our nose up at these things. This is a wonderfully talented player and we're getting him on a huge contract as well. So, yeah, really, really pleased. And the fact he, as I say, he wants to move is just, it just excites me more. It really does. Um, another, another team actually that needs to be talked about um, regarding the interest is Brighton because they actually agreed a fee early in the transfer window with um, Ajax but couldn't agree personal terms to the player. Um, but we have, we have agreed personal terms. Um, we've we've agreed everything. He's completed his medical, and the package is thirty eight million pounds. We, we believe it's from XWH employee, and the contract is a five year deal with an option of a sixth. Um, I don't know a lot about the wages yet, but I think he's going to be obviously a big earner at the club. Um, but look, this is something to really celebrate as, as West Ham fans. This is a really exciting time to be where we are in the league after three games. And it is three games in. Let's not get carried away. But I, I tell you what, I am going to get carried away. I'm enjoying it. I'm going to enjoy my life. I tell you what I love about when when we're things are going well, you can enjoy football. Do you know what I mean? I look forward to watching football. I, I think, oh, who's playing today? I want to watch that. When we're doing bad, I get sick of it. Do you know what I mean? I just sort of think, oh, I don't want to keep watching other teams doing well. I want to see West Ham do well. So I'm really pleased, as you can probably tell, and I'm really excited. Mohamed Kudus, West Ham. I mean, what more could you want? And there is going to be more. There is going to be more as well because we've got so, a couple more signs, I think, coming this week. And it's, uh, this is, well, what a time to be alive. 